This is Barry with Cruising Authority at CruiseTalkShow.com. I'm aboard the Silver Spirit with Silver Sea, and I'm here with a friend of mine, Ralph Grizzle, a fellow cruise industry journalist. Ralph, it's such a pleasure again to speak with you. Thank you, Barry. It's a pleasure to speak with you, too, and to cruise with you. Now, uh, you have been in the industry for a long time. Tell us briefly how you got started in the industry. Yeah, briefly, it began with a bicycle when I pedaled out of a small town in North Carolina, uh, went around the world, and then went to journalism school. I uh, then went to work for a travel agent magazine in 1990, then began to specialize in cruising in the early 1990s. Now, the life of a cruise industry journalist can have its ups and downs. Let, let's focus a little bit on some of the positive side um, what are some of the real positives that you've noticed uh, being a cruise journalist? Well, this is a life I never could have afforded. You know, I've done hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of travel, I'm sure, you know, over the 20 years or so that I've done this. And just a, it's a life of privilege, really. It's uh, to be able to see the world from a cruise ship. Now, uh, when you have, when you tell people that <laughs> you're a cruise industry journalist and you're going on this cruise or that cruise around the world, uh, what are some of the reactions you get? Well, the first one is always, what's your favorite cruise? So I have to go into that. And the second one is, there is there is an envy factor. You know, uh, a lot of people either envy or live vicariously or whatever. Uh, they certainly have a perception of the cruise to be something that it might not be in reality uh, for uh, for someone working on the ship. I've noticed that too. I know I've, when I've mentioned I'm going to China or I'm going to Russia or wherever, uh, they like, you're going again? Um, there, there is a little bit of envy, but at the same time, they're fascinated. People are fascinated by the lifestyle, and uh, there are some positives, but there are also some negative issues, you know, that of of the lifestyle. Tell us uh, what your position is on that. You know, some of the things that are a little bit uh, on the downer side. Well, I don't think anybody should uh, bring out the violin and play sad music for us or the, uh, the, 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 uh, the handkerchief to wipe the tears away because it's a very good life and very intoxicating life, too. You know, there are quite a few issues. I was in a marriage for 14 years, which couldn't last because of uh, me. It's, you know, she wasn't too happy when I was traveling on luxury cruise ships since she was at home with the two kids. Uh, I have two kids as well who are uh, ages 14 and 15, wonderful children. And I see them as often as I can. I'm luckier than the people who work on the ships full time. They may be away from their family six months to a year at a time. I see my kids about one week every month. Now, Ralph, tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now as far as your web uh, blogging and uh, photos and videos. What is... Uh, Avid Cruiser. Explain that to us. Avid Cruiser, it's, it's, uh, it's an experiential site, really. It's where... Uh, I just go out and do what I've done for the past 30 years, and that's go out and try to experience a destination or a travel experience and to write about it in a way that informs people and maybe inspires them a little bit, too. And you tend to be more interested, less maybe in the cruise aspect, more in the destination. I'm noticing that. I'm definitely destination-oriented. I I do. I love the fact that I can get to these great places on a ship. And it's a wonderful way to travel. I've come from Dubai on this ship to Barcelona. I've been in the same hotel room, so to speak. I haven't packed and unpacked, and I've seen all of these great destinations. So uh, tell us, what, what, are, what is an experience, a cruise experience that you've had that truly is one of the most memorable experiences that you've had? You know, I mean, there are quite a few. Uh, and I don't have to go back too far in, in the history to, to remember that. Um, on this cruise, for example, just uh, on the island of Capri, taking a Silver Sea shore excursion, uh, uh, a chairlift up to the top of the mountain and just looking at that beautiful island. Like if I go back a little ways, it would be a, a cruise to Vietnam with my daughter on the Mekong, and that was on Ama Waterways. A wonderful experience. It's one of my best travel experiences ever. It's usually better when I'm, you know, it's, it's always better, I'll say, when I'm with someone uh, who's close to me, family or I've been in a relationship for four years, too. Ralph, tell our listeners how they can get to your website so they can read your content. Yeah, it's well, it's avidcruiser.com. There are a lot of posts there, about 3,000. So I always encourage people, if you need something, there's a contact link, and it goes directly to me. I'd be glad to steer them to it. Ralph, it has been such a pleasure to speak with you again. Thank you, Barry. Pleasure to talk to you. 